O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Psalm appointed for this evening, Psalm 139, verses 1 to 18. O Lord, thou hast searched me out and known me. Thou knowest my down-sitting and mine uprising. Thou understandest my thoughts long before. Thou art about my path and about my bed, and spiest out all my ways. For lo, there is not a word in my tongue. But thou, O Lord, knowest it altogether. Thou hast fashioned me behind and before and laid thine hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful and excellent for me. I cannot attain unto it. Whither shall I go then from thy spirit? Or whither shall I go then from thy presence? If I climb up into heaven, thou art there. If I go down to hell, thou art there also. If I take the wings of the morning, and remain in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there also shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, peradventure, the darkness shall cover me, then shall my night be turned to day. Yea, the darkness is no darkness with thee, but the night is as clear as the day. The darkness and light to thee are both alike, for my reins are thine. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will give thanks unto thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My bones are not hidden from thee, though I be made secretly and fashioned beneath in the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being imperfect and in thy book were all my members written, which day by day were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. <clears throat> how dear are thy counsels unto me, O God! O oh, how great is the sum of them! If I tell them, they are more in number than the sand. When I wake up, I am present with thee. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from Proverbs. My child, do not forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments. For length of days and years of life are abundant welfare they will give you. Do not let loyalty and faithfulness forsake you. Bind them round your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. So you will find favour and good repute in the sight of God and of people. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely on your own insight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord, and turn away from evil. It will be a healing for your flesh, and a refinement for your body. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour, for he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, for he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. 
and his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath shown strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. <coughs> he, remembering his mercy, hath holpen his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers Abraham and his seed for ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the first letter of John. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this, when he is revealed, we will be like him, for he, we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. Everyone who commits sin is guilty of lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he was revealed to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him sins. No one who sins has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Everyone who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. Everyone who commits sin is a child of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The Son of God was revealed for this purpose, to destroy the works of the devil. Those who have been born of God do not sin because God's seed abides in them. They cannot sin because they have been born of God. The children of God and the children of the devil are revealed in this way. All who do not do what is right are not from God nor are those who do not love their brothers and sisters. For this is the message you have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. We must not be like Cain, who was from the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own deeds were evil and his brother's righteous. Do not be astonished, brothers and sisters, that the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love one another. Whoever does not love abides in death. All who hate a brother or sister are murderers, and you know that murderers do not have eternal life abiding in them. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried, 
he descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. God, our Judge and Saviour, teach us to be open to your truth, and to trust in your love, that we may live each day with confidence in the salvation which is given through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, from whom all thoughts of truth and peace proceed, all desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed. Give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, we may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore. Amen. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. In a previous parish in Chester Diocese, in a large west window, I regularly saw at the very top a red roundel. And in that red roundel were three words in black. God is love. Like our reading this evening, taken from the first letter of John. And that letter and that passage in particular help to underline that concept that God is love. I was always struck by the fact that that's all the window said. God is love. There were no caveats. There were no explanations. No buts, as it were. Simply that. God is love. And I quoted it regularly at weddings. At weddings in the Church of England, one of the introductory sentences is, God is love. And those who live in love live in God, 
and God lives in them. And that's, in a sense, what this evening's passage is saying to us. There's a clear choice to be made between living in God and living in the works of the devil. There's no grey area here. The author of the letter of John is making it clear that the children of God are not quite the same as those who were the children of Cain. But how does this affect us? How can we find ourselves as children of God? How do we live as children of God? At Mass this morning, Rory William Rex Rogers was baptised into the life of the Church. It was a particularly joyful occasion, apart from the moment when, at the moment of baptism, he moved his head and I ended up pouring water over the poor lad's face rather than over the crown of his head. He wasn't terribly impressed. However, it is the prayer of the Church, the prayer of each and every one who were there, that he will live his life as a disciple of God, that he will know God's love in his heart. Now, one of the things we know about love is that it is something which is completely useless if we don't share it. The love of God which each of us has in our hearts is a love which needs to be shared far and wide. Some of that will be simply through making it known that we are practising Christians. Some of it will be about caring for those around us. That passage makes it clear that we are to care for those who are our brothers and sisters. If we don't care for them, the author of John suggests, are we really children of God? And who are our brothers and sisters? Well, the answer to that is exactly the same as the person who is our neighbour. The person who is our neighbour, the person who is our brother and sister, are not just those we're sitting next to, in church, at home, wherever we're watching. They're not just those who live next door, or whom we see perhaps 50 or 100 yards away. Our brother, our sister, are those whom we don't know. Those whom we will never know. Last night, at home, we were watching um, on Netflix a documentary by Sir David Attenborough. He was reflecting on his life uh, in broadcasting, and in particular, broadcasting about the life of our planet. He was talking about the urgent need to do something. And he made it clear that it wasn't just about doing something for his generation, or his children's, or even his grandchildren's generation. He wasn't even talking about those whom he knows, but about those whom he's never met. Those peoples, those tribes, yet still to be discovered. Each one of them is a neighbour. Each one of them is a brother and sister. We've never met them. We never will. But they are still people God calls us to care for. And if we care for those whom we have never met, either through working for the environment or perhaps some more local social need, then in doing that, we are sharing the love of God. In doing that, we are showing that we are children of God, and not, as John puts it, children of the devil. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we pray for the life of your church throughout the world. 
We continue in our prayers for the deanery of Southwark. We give thanks for its diversity. We pray for Rory Rogers, baptised this morning, for his family, for his godparents. We pray for the world in which we live as we give thanks for the beauty of creation. We pray that by your grace we may be wise and faithful stewards of it. Do we remember those in need? All those who have asked for our own prayers? All those for whom prayer has been offered in this place over the past week? We pray for Roy, for Roger. We give thanks for all who work in the healing and caring professions, particularly those serving this part of London. Do we remember those who have died? Amongst those who have died in recent days, praying for Colin Hallam Turner, and all whose anniversary falls at about this time, including Dorothy Simpson and Jean Parker. These and all our prayers we make in the name of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. The uh, notices are very much uh, as in the newsletter, uh, which is available on the website and on uh, the Facebook page as well. Um, just to draw one or two things to your attention, um, from Sunday the 1st of November we're moving back to having two Masses on a Sunday morning, all age at 9 o'clock and High Mass at 10.30. Um, all of the current COVID-19 things that we're having to do, like booking people in, sanitising the place, wearing masks, etc., um, all of those will continue to apply uh, both to 9 o'clock and to 10.30. Um, we are now taking bookings and bookings are coming in for both of those services. Uh, please do contact Marion in the church office in the usual way. Um, and then, oh, not tomorrow, but a week tomorrow, the 19th um, of October, uh, Light Perceptions will be in for the best part of a fortnight upgrading the lighting system. Uh, the chandeliers are fine. Uh, they are all already LED, but all of the downlighters and spotlights um, have to be completely changed, not just changing the light bulbs, but all of the fittings as well, uh, and that's going to take the best part of a fortnight to do. Um, that will uh, help to improve our own carbon footprint, as well as reducing our energy costs. Um, as a result of that, a church will not be open for private prayer during those two weeks uh, because it will be um, uh, health and safety reasons, but we will be open for the Mass on the two Thursdays. I think that those are all the notices. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.